from the delightful table and Tippy, my broccoli loving dog, trying to sneak some broccoli stems. Uh, I'm here to demo for you today one of my favorite recipes, which is a creamy vegan pasta sauce. It's garlicky, it's creamy, it's delicious, it only uses four ingredients, and it can be made from stuff that's in your pantry. So this recipe starts off with a half a cup of pine nuts. And then you're gonna add a quarter cup of water, simple tap water, comes from your faucet. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can adjust this, put more, put less, depending on how garlicky you want your sauce to be. And then the most important ingredient is salt. Your sauce will taste like bland nothing if you don't salt it. Now for the fun part, we're gonna pour all of this into a blender. You could use a food processor too, but I recommend a blender. I think it gets a little bit smoother of a texture for the sauce, uh, which makes it nice and creamy. And once again, it's a little bit of pine nuts, garlic powder, your good old tap water, a nice generous pinch of salt, and you can add more later if you need it to be a little bit saltier, but start with a nice good pinch or two. Pop that lid on there so you don't get it all over the kitchen and blend it up. Now you can pour it over zoodles like I've done here or any other kind of pasta that you wanna to top with this garlicky creamy sauce. I garnish this with some fresh tomatoes and a couple sprigs of basil that's growing in my window. Look at that, not bad, huh? Super easy. So here we have our delicious, creamy, garlicky, vegan pasta sauce that's over, these I use zoodles this time, or zucchini noodles, which makes it absolutely carb-free and absolutely vegan. The other thing I like about this recipe is that I don't have to wear an apron. So here I am wearing white, which is very brave for cooking normally for me, especially pasta sauce, but because this is so easy, it just uses the blender. I can wear my cute white outfit and I don't have to worry. Um, I made this recipe mostly out of convenience because I really was craving something creamy, but I didn't have any dairy in my house. I was out of milk, I was out of cheese, I had nothing. And so I came up with this. And so even if you're not vegan, I think this is a great trick to have in your back pocket just in case you want something creamy, garlicky, and satisfying for zoodles or pasta or wherever you want to pour it over. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo as much as I enjoyed making it and stay tuned for more from the delightful table.